Well, Trevor, two one defeat at Lincoln tonight. Uh, how did you see the game overall? Um, I think you know, it took us twenty minutes to get going, and by that time you're you know you're two goals down, and uh, you can't afford to start like that in this league, especially when you're fighting for your life. And you know it was a great reaction second half. I thought the lads dug in, but you know just couldn't couldn't take our chances. You know we had a couple of clear cut chances, but. You know, it's really frustrating. It's one of them. We're 16 games to go now, and you know we can't wait for things to happen. You know, it's on us now, and you know, we're in a dog fight. We've got to show that in the pitch. The manager says it as well. You said it there. The first 20 minutes just really wasn't up to scratch, was it? You can't put your finger on it. You know, you can say all the right things in the dressing room before the game, and you know, quieting their crowd, trying to get their crowd to turn on them, go and press. You know what we worked on all week, but you know, it just seemed disjointed and. Uh, you know, unfortunately, I think the two opportunities and you know two goals, and you know I think in terms of conceding, I think teams don't have to do an awful lot against us at the minute to score goals, and uh, you know it's a frustrating thing, especially then I think after maybe half an hour we dominated the game, you know with possession, bar one or two breakaways they had, but you know you got to learn sooner or later. You know, unfortunately, I've been in battles, I guess, and been on the wrong end of it, and it's all about not you know learning from your mistakes, and you know. It's up to us now to dust ourselves down. We've got a massive game again Saturday, so you know you got to go again. You can't feel sorry for yourself. When Simani brought you back into the game, I think we all thought that this was it, kick on from there. And it, you tried and tried and tried. I think you hit the bar or had one clear off the line with John Obika's header, but just couldn't quite get through, could you? No, I felt the exact same once Tim scored. You know, I felt like it was only a matter of time before we'd go on and. You know, I was thinking is get the equaliser before maybe 75, 80 and then go on and win the game. You know, it wasn't I wasn't even thinking about a draw, and, you know, but it's one of them. You know, I don't think it was certainly off for lack of triumph from the boys, you know, in terms of effort and um, work rate and, de- you know, a desire to want to get a result. I think you've seen that in bucket loads, but, you know, just, just like, you know, with guilt dead chance through Jonah to be fair to our goalies, made a you know, great recovery save, but... You know, you got to take them chances when you're down the bottom and, uh, you know, it's a completely different atmosphere after. I think we're going to win the game if we get get the equaliser then. But it's all ifs and buts and maybes. And, uh, you know, as I say, it's up to us now to make it make things happen. And I think that first 20 minutes, everyone was waiting for someone else to kick starters into the game. And, you know, instead of one of us taking the game with a scruff of the neck and, you know, even going putting a tackle in or we just, you know... I, th- I thought we were too easy to play against and you know maybe it did just take you know one of them old fashioned tackles to you know wake the whole team up but it never came you know it took them to go 2-0 up for us to sort of wake up and start playing football and, and by that time you know it's too late I know we've had a few great turnarounds this season but you know you can't keep expecting you know that week in week out but you know I'm trying not to be too negative so you got to you know I thought the reaction second half you know was good and Got to take that into Saturday now and, uh, you know, learn from it. I was going to say that there are ifs, buts and maybes, but what we do know is that Saturday's a massive game. Of course, tonight was a massive game. You know, you can't, you know, I said to the lads before, like, just don't let these games get away from us. Don't let them pass us by. And, you know, you can't do that because all of a sudden, you know, you know, the one point, two points becomes five points. And, you know, and luckily enough, again, results went our way. And, uh, you know, it still is only a point or two points. So... You know, but you can't. We can't rely on other teams the rest of the season. There comes a point where we have to, you know, roll the sleeves up. Like it's hard to say that because there's not one lad in there that doesn't, you know, give a hundred percent. But you know, there's a different way to, you know, give your all in terms of you know, being clever how you press. You know, being brave on the ball and, you know, and we just gotta dust ourselves down tonight. It's been a harsh lesson. You know, everyone's got it in there. It's we knew how big the game was tonight, but. You know, it only makes Saturday a bigger game and, you know, without putting too much pressure on us, you know, I think we all know it's a massive game and, uh, you know, and hopefully, you know, we've showed, I think we've been decent at home this season and, uh, you know, we've got to, you know, be disappointed, learn from the mistakes, but come out, you know, hungry and fighting and hopefully get a massive reaction on Saturday. <laughs>